Television, your local ITV station. Good afternoon. One of the worst cases of sustained vandalism in the Channel Islands has come to light in Alderney. A large property is under development on the Catravon site, but vandals have done their best to wreck the building. Exterior walls have been smashed and inside fixtures have been ripped out and broken. It's estimated that damage will run into tens of thousands of pounds. It is also suspected that there has been wholesale theft of building materials stored on the site. Alderney police have appealed for information, either direct to the police station or on the confidential Crime Stoppers line. The development behind the airport has been a source of controversy in the island. Two years ago, there was a demonstration march against the building, which is in the island's green zone. It was the Lifetime Achievers Award, which celebrates the work of an unsung hero in the local community. They are Ben Gabriel, Pam Bartlett, Molly Degari, Pauline Leadbeater, Denise Fawcett and Dennis Moore. The winner, who receives a trophy, a £3,000 holiday and a donation to the charity of their choice will be announced at the Guernsey Awards for Achievement Gala Evening at Beausejour next month. The Honorary and States Police teamed up in Grooville this afternoon for some special enforcement, making sure the parish's old age pensioners have something to smile about tonight. It was a case of jackets off and silver service at the ready as members of the Grooville Honorary Police and their wives carried out the long tradition of serving up a slap-up Christmas lunch for pensioners. And this year, community police officer Peter Whitehouse gave a helping hand as well. For more than 100 diners, there was a turkey and all the trimmings feast, washed down with a glass of wine or two. It was all a sign of the times. Constable Frank Amy said the event used to be staged in the parish hall, but now with a growing number of pensioners, the party's moved to a nearby hotel. Finally, the island's militia were in action in Jersey today, dealing with a sticky situation at the zoo. John Jakes was there. A long-term project to restore the valley, which runs through the grounds of the zoo, has thrown up a new challenge this winter how to continue with the biggest piece of landscaping ever carried out at the zoo without heavy machinery ruining the grassy slopes. The Jersey Field Squadron came up with the answer, a military road system designed to prepare any type of ground to take heavy vehicles. Within minutes, they rolled out the solution with the expected military precision. It was a good training exercise for them and a delight for Carol Kemp, who over the next four months will be turning this muddy valley into a centrepiece attraction for both visitors and wildlife. And apart from all the physical work involved, Carol set herself another challenge to put in some exotic plants never before grown out of doors in Jersey. Looks lovely. Well, now the weather until 6 a.m. tomorrow. Fine and cold with a risk of slight air frost in Jersey. Minimum temperature tonight, zero. Visibility good, possibly moderate at times. And the wind easterly moderate for to fresh. And the open sea state, slight to moderate. And the outlook for tomorrow, a risk of mist or low cloud patches for a time in the morning, otherwise sunny and cold. Temperature rising to eight.